Hi, boys and girls. Mrs. Parm from the Rosa Public Library. Welcome to story time. So with all that snow out there, I have to read some snow stories. So this story is called Geraldine's Big Snow by Holly Keller. Geraldine brought her new sleigh downstairs from the attic and put her boots near the door. I'm ready. It will come faster if you don't watch so much, Mama told her, but Geraldine wanted to watch. Tell me again what Papa heard on the radio, she said. This is the last time, Geraldine, Mama scolded. He heard that there's a big snowstorm coming and there's going to be at least a foot of snow. How much is a foot, Geraldine asked. Mama held out her hand. Wow, Geraldine said, sucking in her cheeks. But when? Soon, said Mama, very soon. Geraldine put on her hat and her jacket. I'm just going to go outside and wait. Good, said Mama. Hello, Geraldine, said Mrs. Wilson, who was coming home from the market. You bought a lot of apples, Geraldine said. Mrs. Wilson nodded. It will be hard to go shopping when the snow comes. Geraldine walked along with her eyes on the sky until she bumped into Mr. Peters, who was coming home from the library. Afternoon, Geraldine, Mr. Peters grumbled as he picked up his books. Uh, I'm sorry, Geraldine said. I was watching the snow. Mr. Peters cleared his throat. Better get plenty of good books to read. Geraldine stopped to watch Mr. Harper put seeds in the bird feeder. Birds get hungry in the snow, he said. Uncle Albert was attaching a snowplow to his truck. He waved to Geraldine, and Geraldine waved back. Geraldine started to sing, It's coming, it's coming, the snow is coming. She sang all the way home as she continued to watch the sky. But by supper time, there still was no snow, and Geraldine was weary from watching. Maybe it isn't really coming, she said. Maybe the man on the radio was wrong. Maybe Mrs. Wilson and Mr. Peters and Mr. Harper and Uncle Albert, maybe everybody's just all wrong about the snow. Geraldine took a last look out the window. A star was hiding behind a cloud, and she watched until she fell asleep. Then, in the night, it came, soft and quietly. Millions of snowflakes piled up on the houses and trees. They made a soft mound in the street, the park, and the beautiful crystals on the window. Geraldine heard Uncle Albert snowplow before she opened her eyes. It's here, she said, shouted. It's here! Mrs. Wilson got right to work making apple pies. Mr. Peters sat in front of the fireplace reading. Mr. Harper counted 11 finches and three cardinals at the bird feeder. And Geraldine took her sled to the top of the highest hill in the park. And coasted all the way down. And that is the end of our story. I hope you enjoyed that. And go outside and build a snowman and have fun. That's enough out there. Bye, boys and girls. I'll see you next time at Storytime.